This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night ten. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you could never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jack Della Madalena! Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. All right, ready to go with round one. As usual, a lot of travel involved. The first Western Australia's Jack Della Maddalena, one of the best boxers in this division. But he doesn't discriminate, right? He has heard some people suggest that he can be taken down with relative ease. Della Maddalena is a worker. He has spent a lot of time working on his wrestling and his grappling because in this loaded welterweight division, there are a lot of good wrestlers and a lot of guys because of JDM's boxing prowess are gonna be looking to take this man to the floor. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Shaw. I mean, is this thing on the feet? How many times can you say punch to the head? Well, he misses with the left punch there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to, because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. Oh, big elbow. He just turned his hip over into the leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice straight right lands. Nice shot there by the champ. Keep your face 
quick jab. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, nice straight punch there by George. Doubles up on the jab. Looking to land the right just out of range. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. He's getting good at it. He's being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, nice. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. He's trading huge shots. So let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Right on the button. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Oh, counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left, or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. That opened up a cut above the eye here. Got the single collar locked in the clinch now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice jab there. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. And just misses with that big right hand. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Lands a solid kick right there. Well, at this point, he is really timing things out well. It looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over aggressiveness against him. Ten seconds to go in round one. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. In. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, but not before he got that cut on his forehead. We'll see if that becomes a factor later in this fight. Cut man set to earn his money here. All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again. And because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence and he is very limited in what he can do in his approach because safety has to be first now. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice combination by the champ. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. 
All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by the Korean Super Bowl. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Whiffs on that offering. Just over three minutes now to go. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all the coming strikes. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Oh, beautiful counter. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. He gets to the center cut time. Look at him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Under two minutes to go in our second round. Big punch lands. Ooh. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Left hand connection and a right. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the fakes. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. While the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship. 
Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, as you take a look at the numbers there, bottom of your screen, counter-striking has really been the narrative in this one, the real story of this fight. And again, it takes a very talented striker to be able to land moving forward and moving backward. He has landed at will in this matchup here tonight. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Immediately gets the underhook. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And there's another straight. It's there by Choi. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. The Korean Superboy gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Oh, and he lands again. Choi's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Under three minutes now to go in round three. And now some distance as they pull apart. Just out of range with that strike. Choi gets hit by that leg kick. Beautiful sequence of strikes there. Nice combination. That's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Choi's blocking well now. Made the adjustment. Right through the only lands the knee. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Nice jab by Choi. Great punch there. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Shot to the body is dropped. Well, that strike landed, not gonna help that cut at all. And I think for a lot of us non-fighters, it becomes hard to watch that area just continue to get targeted and bludgeoned. Over and over again. And it's what you're supposed to do yeah. as a fighter. You can't have heart as a fighter. You gotta look at that thing. You gotta look at that work that you've done. You gotta take that canvas and you gotta paint it, man. You gotta get at it over and over again and continue to attack that same area. Feel sorry for the guy after the fight. Yeah. But right now, he's gotta pay the price. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, good block there. Well, that cut is so bad. Like, can't the referee stop the fight right now? Somebody can stop it, because he won't. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the beauty of the fighter. He will not quit. 
sometimes you got to go in there and tell him, hey, man, there's tomorrow. Yeah. Doesn't have to happen today. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the Ready path fight? in order to make the cut Ready. worse. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go in that extra 10 minutes. Left-right combo is good. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this after that? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, this corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Unable to connect with the right. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit. And now, it's starting to pay dividends. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurting for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's gonna allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're gonna have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Choi's taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. All right, well, the local hospital might be busy later tonight. What an absolute war this has been. The Cutmen have done a pretty good job, but both guys are leaking in the face area. Yeah, they're working full. They're working full tonight. I mean... <laughs> Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick land. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He is getting lit up right now, John. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Joyce, I look so swollen now. You've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Out of range with that one. Under a minute to go in round four. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. His right eye's closing up. Close to being done. 
Rollins having his way with him here. He's setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. It's got to be it. It seems so tight. Tools we go, and that is a really severe cut. So we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready? You ready? Go Here we go, fifth and final round. All right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the cardio. You can tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus of both of these gentlemen as they prepare for this fight. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fresh. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't going to get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this you, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Busy in the clinch. Lands that Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they want to be a fighter. Oh, no. oh look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes at your point. Big shot to the head. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game. And if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Hard shots landing on both sides here. And there it is! The Korean Superboy does it again! Holy smokes! Get to Bruce Buffer. He has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC 
heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Boy, Do Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Boy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy is just getting started. Now let's see just how far he can take it. But tonight the celebration is on, undeniably. A huge step in the right direction for Duho Choi here tonight.